Hello everyone and welcome to this quick review of the Abbas scene. I started this project to test Cycle's volumetric rendering of the upcoming Blender 2.7 release. In this short video we'll go through the source file and see how it's made. First download the blend file of this project that is available on my website at emerge.org. Note that you will need to register and log in to get access to the file download. You'll find the register link on the top menu of the website. Go to the project making of post and click on the download button. Extract and open the blend file. Note that the volumetric feature doesn't exist on the 2.69 version, so I'm using a recent Blender build. Check the video description for the download link. Before start exploring the different element of this scene, I will disable the only render button to get back to the normal view. Now let's check the different layers. I'm using here the layer manager add-on. As you can see, you can give a name to each layer. Now I'll go to the another screen layout and enable only the first layer here we have our volume object to which I assigned the, vo the volume material volume shaders um, I will also enable the, the light layer that contains a sun lamp and the camera uh, notice that the camera is outside the, our volume. This is due to a current limitation in the volume uh, rendering system. Now I will enable the render preview here. And uh, before going any further, I will optimize the speed of the volume metric rendering by reducing this value, the volume scatter bounces to zero. The volume material itself is pretty simple. I just used a volume scatter shader uh, and a volume absorption shader, mix it together with an add shader node, uh, which I connected to the volume socket of uh, the material output. The volume scatter shader creates the volumetric shadows and the volume absorption shader gives the water, the volume, uh, material its color. Uh, now I will enable another layer. This layer contains this random faces uh, that creates this nice light rays. In short, the, the sun rays passes through the holes and projects shadows inside our volume. Uh, in this layer, we have the particle system that gives the, those nice little floating particles. Next we have the abyss geometry, which is um, done with the sculpt tools. This is an earlier version of the, uh, the abyss rocks. As you can see, it's just a simple low poly mesh and uh, added further details with modifiers I added a subdivision modifier to add more uh, polygons than a displacement modifier with a simple moist texture in the next layer we have the sub explorer the submarine with its lighting system uh, for the sub explorer I used uh, most mostly lamps point lamps for local volume effect this volume effect here and uh, spot lamps for the this spot volume light for the sub explorer geometry itself here you will find only the a group linked from another scene uh, just go to the sub explorer scene here if you want to, to, to check the real geometry okay this is it so this is the real uh, geometry of the of the submarine it's not yet finished
The last uh, layer contains the shipwreck um, geometry. Nothing special here. I extruded simple plans. So we have uh, this is the original surface. I added it to it a solid if modifier, then a subdivision modifier to make the the second the bevel modifier works correctly, and uh, to this I added a particle system. I disabled it in the three D view to make it uh, fast. This was a quick overview of the Abyss scene. I hope that you found it useful. If you have any question or want to give a feedback, please leave a comment. And stay tuned, because the project is not yet finished. Thanks for watching, see you soon.